A Canadian icon and telecommunications trailblazer was honored late this afternoon at Rogers Center. Live to Pam Seidel, who tells us a new bronze statue of the late Ted Rogers was unveiled today. Pam? And Gord, there it is, unveiled just moments ago. This event just wrapped up. It really is fitting that this statue is so big. It stands 10 feet, 12 feet tall, excuse me, because, of course, Ted Rogers was very much larger than life and a giant of Canadian business. Now, this statue commemorates the man who started from humble beginnings and went on to build a communications empire. It is a spectacular 12-foot-tall bronze statue that weighs with its base nearly 12,000 pounds. It celebrates the spirit and legacy of one of Canada's true visionaries, the late Ted Rogers, a respected and influential leader. I'm sure that Ted would be very surprised and very flattered to know that he has been immortalized in bronze. It is most appropriate that the statue is here at the Rogers Centre, a place in which Ted took great pride in. We want, to, we want to welcome everybody inside the tent. We want to welcome everybody BT's inside. Kevin and Dina hosted the event with a who's who in attendance, including Ted's widow, Loretta, to whom he was married for 45 years, and their four children. Close friends were also there, including the Tenors, a group Ted Rogers loved. Ted is an iconic Canadian and, and uh, a legend, and we're still living his legacy every single day. And it's a great tribute for the... Uh, for the man that Ted was, as well as a, a great monument for the city. Ted Rogers was also a huge fan of the Toronto Blue Jays and never missed a home opener. A number of Blue Jays greats were on hand today to pay tribute to the man who bought the team in 2000 in order to keep it on Canadian soil. Baseball was, might not be in Toronto right now if it wasn't for Ted Rogers. And uh, the fact that uh, we're able to do something down here, the family came uh, to commemorate for what he has meant to this city. He was a great guy to work for, a great guy to be around. He's a people person. Uh, he was always around when we needed support. The statue was created by a longtime friend of the Rogers family, Ziggy Pushta, and took him seven months. You can see the intricate detail in Ted's face. The family wanted his expression to be just right to immortalize the thoughtfulness that was. Was Ted. You may not believe this, and I'm not making this up, there were many nights I didn't sleep well. You know, I was thinking about it. Yeah. You know, you always, like, do I get it right or what? You know. Right, right. So, and they, now? Now, turned out okay. Ted Rogers is the founder, first president, and CEO of Rogers Communications. He started the company with a single radio station and went on to shape the communications and media landscape in this country by creating and acquiring radio and TV stations, including City TV, magazines, retail stores, cell phone and internet services, building his company into a North American leader. He was very passionate about everything he did from his business life to his private life and family. He loved a good joke, a good party, and I'm sure he's looking down on this event today. Ted Rogers also believed in giving back to his community. He's remembered as an innovator, an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and patriot. He died in 2008. So while these chairs, the stage, and the tent will all disappear, this statue will reside permanently right here in the spot outside gates five and six of Rogers Center so that anyone coming to a game, a concert or another event can visit this Canadian icon.